Lighties, 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 lighties. I'm here on the shmeal. I'm here on the shmeal. Talk to do a quick NBA news episode number 40 before um, I do the NBA recap for tonight. Um, right after all the games are final. So, just want to get a quick NBA news episode in uh, number 40. Just talk about some of the NBA stuff. Um, so, yeah, let's get right to it. Stephen A. Smith uh, said... Steph Curry and Klay Thompson are the best duo in the NBA. I, I still think they're the best duo um, with that Warrior system. They're just really hard to guard on ball. Even Klay Thompson, maybe not on ball as much anymore, may, off the ball. It's just so hard to guard these two. Especially Steph Curry on and off ball. you got to keep up with him the whole way. You just can't stop running. And Klay Thompson with that catch and shoot, there's, he's still good. I mean... People on Twitter say, oh, he's washed, stuff like that. He He's just coming off an it two. Could be could have been career-threatening injuries. But last year, yeah, he did struggle at, some, at points. He had ups and downs, but that's expected in your first however many games he played back from a torn ACL and a torn Achilles. And he get, played decent against the Lakers. Had a few. First half didn't play well. Second half um, played pretty, pretty good. So... And Steph Curry and Clay Thompson think, still think are the best duo in the NBA. Um, there's some good, still good duos, but I'm still taking Curry and Clay, Clay just because they're on my favorite team. But there's still a lot of good other duos out there. But I agree with Stephen A. Smith here. Uh, he, Stephen A. Smith also goes in on LeBron James for getting rid of championship shooters for Russell Westbrook. So yeah, you know, um, it, it, LeBron James wanted Russell Westbrook on the team. Um... So, basically, Stephen A. Smith goes on here talking about LeBron James, uh, basically getting rid of championship shooters like they have in, the, in that bubble run. They had some really good shooters like KCP, uh, pretty decent shooter. They had some pretty good three-point shooters, but they trade them, all, trade them away for Russell Westbrook. They got Kendrick Nunn, who's inconsistent as hell shooting. Russell Westbrook can't shoot worth a damn. Patrick Beverly can't shoot worth a damn. Anthony Davis has struggled at times to shoot. Anthony Davis has struggled at times to shoot. LeBron James has struggled at times. It's just that Lakers team's not really constructed good. It's not constructed good with shooting, and that I mean it goes to to the uh, front office as well with Rob Palenka as well for po building this poor constructed roster because they just can't shoot. I mean they can't. They're shooting like. 20% in both games for three, like 20% on the season through two games. It is not looking good for the Los Angeles Lakers. So two Stephen A. Smith uh, comments to start here. Um, so next thing we're talking about is Paul George talking about Russell Westbrook. He said, I don't get the hate or shade or the stuff that's thrown at him. He's one of the best players to ever play this game. He was very easily a 30-10-10 guy when he had the keys to the team. We can't forget about that. Paul George on Russell Westbrook. I will agree here when he had the keys to the team like with Oklahoma City Thunder. He was really actually good. Like He could easily put up 30, 10, and 10. Put up a triple-double triple double every game. Broke um, Oscar Robertson's record. But I mean, that's when he, but that's back when he was on the Thunder. Now, he's just not good. I mean, yeah, he had a good game against the Warriors. And his defense in that game, it's a little bit more hated than it probably should be. I mean, yeah, he went 0 for 11 in that game. Did he shoot good? Hell no. Didn't he make a shot? But his defense was good, and he didn't turn the ball over. In the first game against the the Warriors, he's probably their best player on the floor. You look at the points and say, oh, LeBron James. Oh, Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis was good. But LeBron James, most of his points came when they were losing. So, but I don't think he's one of the best players to ever play the game. That's kind of exa an exaggeration, but... Sometimes I don't get the hate or the shades thrown at him. For his, I mean, maybe for his poor shooting, which he's just not a good jump shooter. I don't know what people expect. He's just not a good jump shooter at this point in his career. So, yeah. Uh, Pat Bev said this, which is a laughable quote. He said, and quote, we're going to the playoffs. Pat Bev's message to Lakers fans. I, I get you have to be a little bit positive about your team. Like, it's your team you're on. And you have to say, keep it positive, like say, oh, we're going to the playoffs. But if you watch these first two games of the Lakers against the Warriors and the Clippers, you cannot tell, be confident, like Patrick Beverly, and say, we're going to the playoffs if you're a Lakers fan. Because this Lakers team is poorly constructed. They're just trash. 
Like, I don't get it. This thing's trash. Like, this is just such a laughable quote. Uh, LeBron James, however, he did pass Paul Pierce on all-time three-pointers made list, number 10, so I guess a positive thing for the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, Apple will produce a documentary on uh, Steph Curry. So Steph Curry's going to have a, a documentary on Apple, so they're going to produce it. So good for Steph Curry getting a, a documentary. Uh, Clay Thompson says, quote, I have no intentions of retiring in 2024, Clay Thompson. So he doesn't plan to... So he doesn't plan uh, to retire. I think there's some reporter or something say, oh, Clay Thompson could there could hint it. He hinted it like, oh, he could retire or something like that. But it ain't gonna happen. Clay Thompson's not gonna retire. <laughs> now, Clay Thompson's not gonna retire, man. 2024. He still got a few more years years left than that. Come on. A uh, report: Stephen A. Smith will host broadcast this NBA season in Manning cast style. Oh no! Stephen A. Smith gonna host broadcast this NBA season in Ma Manning cast style. I guess he had J.J. Redick or Richard Jefferson on, but why do we have to have this? Like Stephen A. Smith NBA season in a Manning cast style this year? Why? Just why? Nobody asked for this. Nobody wanted this. Jesus Christ. Report Shaquille O'Neal documentary series set to premiere on HBO later this year. I think it's a four-part series series for Shaquille O'Neal. So, Clay Thompson, or not Clay Thompson, Steph Curry and Shaquille O'Neal get some documentary series as they deserve. The last thing I'll talk about is Stephen A. Smith says the Brooklyn Nets need more garbage. So, yeah, Brooklyn Nets have not looked good. Uh, first game, especially to start the year. Uh, they, they they looked really bad. Ben Simmons was trash. But what new? But what new? Um, looks like what new? Um, so, yeah. But that's all for saving this video, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, I'll call a lot. I'll do the NBA recap later tonight.